As we reach the end of our semester, it is great to refresh our mind and take a quick scan on our previous lessons. I am Maria Cristina Micaela A. Cabus. My name is Justin Joy De Leon. I am Mary Joy Nye. I am Maja Shobe Warner. My name is Angel Joyce Austria. I am Marilyn De La Cuesta. My name is Nicole. My name is Jess Ann Wilson. I am Benedict Daniel Chu. I am Eunice Joy Cruz. And I am Terry Anchua. And this is... Heritage. episode we will have a lesson recap on all our previous lessons so what are you waiting for let's start now cultural tourism a type of tourism activity in which the visitor's essential motivation is to learn discover experience and consume the tangible and intangible cultural attraction in tourism destination this attraction relates to a set of particular materials intellectual spiritual and devotional features of a society that represent arts, architecture, historical, culinary, music, living culture, and their lifestyle, beliefs, and traditions. It is one of the main reasons why people travel to experience the places and to try new things or outside their comfort zone. The growing interest of visitors in cultural experience brings opportunities as well as the challenges for tourism industry. The sector needs to adopt and strengthen policies and governance that benefit all stakeholders while preserving and further promoting the cultural asset and expressions. The lesson that is assigned to me is the importance of intangible cultural heritage and according to the UNESCO, the term cultural heritage has changed content considerably in recent decades, partially owing to the instruments developed by UNESCO. Cultural heritage does not end at monuments and collecting objects. It also includes traditions and living expressions inherited from our ancestors and passed on to our descendants, such as oral traditions, performing arts, social practices, rituals, festive events, knowledge and practices concerning the nature, and the universe of the knowledge and skills to produce traditional craft. The importance of intangible cultural heritage is not the cultural manifestation itself, but rather the wealth of knowledge and skills that is transmitted through it and passed on from one generation to the next. The social and economic value of this transmission of knowledge is relevant for the minority groups and for mainstream social groups within a state, and it is also important for developing state as for developments. While fragile, intangible cultural heritage is an important factor in maintaining cultural development in the face of the growing globalization. An understanding of intangible cultural heritage of different communities helps with intercultural dialogue and encourages mutual respect for others' way of life. Cultural or heritage concept in the Philippines you can experience the beauty of the Philippines by exploring or traveling around the country. You can also experience the Philippines by studying or researching the history of the Philippines. You can also visit the heritage or cultural site, visiting museums, and reading a newspaper or through the internet. The Philippines has so many places that you can visit, especially um, when you love churches or beaches, you can visit the Palubin. <coughs> Number one is Tubataha Reef. Tubataha Reef is also known as Tubataha Reef National Park. This is a protected area of the Philippines located in the middle of the Sulu Sea. It's also considered the best dive spot in the Philippines. Number two, Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park. Puerto Princesa is the world re-owned Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park which holds a place in the, seven, in the new Seven Wonders of the Philippines. Number three is the rice terraces of the Philippines Cordilleras. 
It is described as a living cultural landscape of, of unparalleled beauty. The raised terraces are located in the calderillas of the Sun Island. Some people say if the terraces were built end to end, they would be able to cover half of the world. Number 4 is the historic town of Bigan City. Bigan City is known for its preserved Spanish, colonial, and Asian architecture. The city is also known for its various historical and cultural attractions. Number 5 is the San Agustin Church in Intramuros. It is located on General Luna Street in the Intramuros. Um, it was the only building left intact after the destruction of Intramuros in World War II. Number 6, Miagao Church in Iloilo. Miagao Church is a famous for the painstaking, painstakingly detailed sculptural relief on its pavement. It was built in 731 and it's part of the Seven Wonders of the Philippines. Number 7 is the Nuestra Señora de la Asunción Santa Maria in Locosur. It is commonly known as the Santa Maria Church. This grand church is one of the four Baroque churches in the Philippines inscribed in the UNESCO World Heritage List in 1993. The UNWTO or the World Tourism Organization creates a study about the intangible cultural heritage that provides comprehensive baseline research on the links between tourism and intangible cultural heritage, which was drawn from the five continents and it offers information on the analysis of government-led actions, public-private partnerships, and community initiatives. The study also interlinked tourism and those expressions and skills that make up humanity's intangible cultural heritage. I learned that safeguarding cultural heritage is cannot be touched, such as the beliefs, rules, norms, ideas, traditions, values, symbols, and many other things. Also, an understanding of an intangible culture heritage of different communities helps with the intercultural dialogue and encourage mutual respect for other ways of life. And to aware every people that culture heritage is very important that we could protect it and take care of it. Lesson 6. Investing in Future Generation Lesson 6 is all about investing on preservation of our heritage sites for the future generations. We need to imply and follow the rules and regulations in order for us to maintain its original order. UNESCO, together with the local and national government of each country, are doing ways to protect and save our heritage sites. We can also invest by using technologies to make innovations and establish more up-to-date knowledge and information for the better understanding of the people. Lesson 7, Protecting Filipino Heritage uh, Protecting the heritage site that our ancestors left with us is a big challenge for us. Containing its natural beauty is a hard part. But as Filipino, we must have time to maintain, love, and appreciate what our ancestors left with us. Um, it's a symbol that we are one and who we are right now. Um, many heritage sites here in the Philippines that we can be proud of. An example for that is the Cali Crisologo that can be found in Ilocosur. It is part of the UNESCO Heritage Site in the Philippines. Even, past, even years past its life, it is so well maintained and it's maintain its natural beauty. Um, making this to happen, we must be more sensitive wherever we go in our country because every place here in the Philippines has a story that makes us be Filipino. The United Nations has declared 2017 as International Year of Sustainable Tourism for Development. They provide a unique opportunity to explore and highlight tourism's potential to help transform our world into a place of prosperity and well-being. Competitiveness and attractiveness. With the significant contribution 
cultural tourism can make for social economic development. Its popularity is increasing at a faster pace than most of the other segments, even faster than a growth rate of tourism worldwide. According to the United Nations Environment Program, sustainable tourism describes policies, practices, and programs that take into account not only the expectations of tourists regarding responsible natural resource management, but also the needs of communities that are affected by tourism projects and the environment. To achieve sustainable tourism, all sectors have to follow a continuous process which requires constant monitoring of impact and implement the necessary preventive or corrective measures at all times. Making optimal use of environmental resources that form a key element in tourism development, maintaining essential ecological process, and helping to conserve natural heritage and biodiversity. Respecting the social-cultural authenticity of host communities, conserving the, their built and living cultural heritage and traditional values, and contributing to intercultural understanding and tolerance. Remember, sustainable tourism should not only satisfy the traveler's needs of pleasure and relaxation, but also to ensure a meaningful experience that raises their awareness about preserving and conserving nature and culture while contributing to the local community as a lasting legacy. Engaging the people to the culture and values can build relationship towards our society for being aware and to gain more knowledge. Philippine culture and values should be preserved because it's one of the reasons why we have our own beliefs and has been taken up until now and the thing that we're going to pass into our future generations. The people should always be aware of our heritage protection, safeguarding, and promotion in a way that can be well known and preserved. Therefore, we have to raise awareness for developing our culture and values for maintaining its national importance. Immovable and tangible heritage of the buildings. Immovable heritage consists of buildings, lands, and other historical valuable items that are connected by physical fusion to the ground. Immovable objects as cultural monuments if they provide significant evidence of historical development, way of life, and environment of society from the earliest time to present, and display the creative abilities and work of people from all manners of human activity. Cultural monuments is a work of value and their preservation is in the interest of the whole society. They are thus protected by law by the system of state heritage conservation. For the owner, this may mean some limitation, but it can help to conserve the most valuable aspect of his property. Lesson 12, Movable Heritage in the Philippines. Immovable Heritage is a natural manufacture object of heritage in America be transferred or owned by others. For an immovable heritage that can be transferred easily is a replica that we can found in churches, museums, and many more because it can change ownership and it can be transferred from one place to another. Also, movable heritage is a tangible heritage because it can be passed through generations by generation. Um, the replicas that our ancestors left with us is a symbol for all of us Filipino which has a few stories in our lives. Culinary Heritage of the Philippines Culinary heritage incorporates the origin of food-related activities of a certain society or cultural group. It is composed of a cuisine of more than a hundred ethnic groups found throughout the Philippine archipelago. However, the majority of mainstream of Filipino dishes that compose Filipino cuisine are from the cuisines of the ethnolinguistic group and tribes, including Ilocano, Kapampangan, Pampanga, Tagalog, Picolano, Visayan, Cebuano, Hiligaynon, and Duaray. The National Cultural Heritage Act of 2019 are also known as our 
Item number 10066. Aim to protect, preserve, conserve, and promote the nation's cultural heritage, its property and histories, and the ethnicity of local communities. It also aims to establish and strengthen cultural institutions and protect cultural workers in the Through this law, the state and diversity create a balanced atmosphere. all ladies, sadly, all good things must come to an end. But, turning will never end, so never stop turning. I am Maria Cristina Micaela A. Cabus, and this is Hermitage, now signing off. Choose to reason. 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 Cho